Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what they secretly want you to know for all of my Gemini out there. So, let's get after it. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell my Gemini? So what do they secretly want to tell all my Gemini out there? Show me the cards that I need to see. Okay, full screen. Okay, so <clears throat> they secretly wanted to tell you they are thinking about the big picture. They're thinking the sense of the long term. All right, so they're looking at the macro, not the micro. Um, and so that means that they're 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 serious about this potential relationship here. Uh, now, you know, they also want to tell you that this is the, this is really the first time that they've ever really felt that you know they've really actually felt this way about someone to really think about the bigger picture. Okay, so you know, um, this is new to them. This is new to them, and they and they and they're really beginning to kind of. You know, think. Okay, you know what? I'm really, I'm really feeling this individual. Let me think in terms of of the big picture here. Where are we going to be a year from now, two years from now? So, in other words, they're serious about this. This is new for them. This is new for them, and they want to tell you that it's new for them. It's it's it's, it's new for them. Um, but they want to let you know, hey, you know what? This fulfills my wishes. So it's well worth the time, the the, the time and effort that it's going to take to make this thing work out right. So, you know, being with you fulfills their wishes. They've done a lot of contemplating and reflecting about the situation. They, so, in other words, they did not come to this decision lightly. They've, they've actually thought about it. They've actually contemplated it. All right. <clears throat> now, you know, there was a little bit, a little bit of, a little, a little bit of doubt here. We got the five of five of swords here and and that doubt being you know do i do i take this to the next level or do i just keep it where it is and, and, you know honestly they've made the decision the final decision to move forward to take things at least in their mind to the next level and say you know what i want to think about really being something you know being long term with this individual now here's the thing this is <clears throat> this is someone that you're currently <clears throat> you're currently dating, okay? This is this is this is a person that you're kind of you know you had a couple dates with this individual. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is an individual that you've had a couple of dates with this individual, um, <clears throat> and they've been pretty pretty good dates actually, okay? But they but the, at this point they're like you know what I really enjoy being with this person. I really think we have a connection, okay? So maybe it's time to take it to the next level. Maybe it's time I take it to the next level, and, and that's and that's where they are. And they, they thought about it, but they're like, you know what? I'm, I want to fight for this. You know, I, I want to take it to the next level. They're very very passionate about this too. So a great deal of passion that they have about this. So, you know, they're not going to be deterred from this. This is exactly this is what they want to do, and they're moving forward. Most likely, you've met this person. This is a person that you that you work with. <clears throat> that you work with, uh, that you've met from a person from your place of work, um, you know, you could possibly go to school with this person. So, in other words, you 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 are an immediate circle and orbit of this individual. Is what I'm trying to say. Rather you work, or rather you go to school, or there's some type of connectivity that you have with this person. I, I want to say. You know, there's some type of working relationship that you have with this individual. That there's some type of working relationship that you have with this person. You know, maybe in a traditional sense, maybe in a non-traditional sense, where you just kind of do things together with this person. Um, as far as projects, goals, activities, or but there is, you know, there may be a there is a direct or indirect direct correlation to you being in this person's immediate orbit. Um, and finally. Um, this person wants to have an equal give and take with you. Okay, they're looking to have an equal give and take with you, if you will. All right, so <clears throat> there is that. There's all 
all of that. So with that being said, let's see what the potential blockage is to the situation. What are the potential blockages to the situation? <clears throat> what are the potential blockages to the situation? One more shuffle. There you go. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> so, here we go. Got the Hermit card here. So, one potential blockage to the situation is. Um, Doing a little too much soul searching and self reflection here, so there's a possibility here there may be a, a, um, a bit of overthinking going on here. Okay. Um, also, we have communication, page of pentacles. So um, finding the right way in which to articulate uh their feelings for you maybe somewhat of an of, of an issue here that you know again they're overthinking it and there's this possibility of you know them being really it, it, they're they're taking so much time trying to find the right words and the right way to come off and say this that it, it's, it's potentially problematic because you know uh you know it, it it may take a lot longer than it needs to. That's like I said. That's the whole overthinking aspect. Also, there's an aspect here of right now. It appears as if you seemingly seem to be happy by yourself. You know, being single, being solo, doing your own thing. Um, so there, there is that. Okay, there is that. Okay. Um. Also, uh, we have the death card here, which represents endings and new beginnings. So. With this particular situation, in terms of this here, um, you know, you may not be ready to start something fresh, a whole fresh new relationship, okay? Um, you may not be ready to start over because these are blockages. So you may not be ready to start over. You may just be kind of happy where you are right now. And, and, and that and that may be the issue as well. Uh, or you may be giving the appearance that you're okay right now with being single and solo. Uh, and you may not be. You may be. But th at least that's what the appearance is. And so there's this thought, you know, are you ready to start over again? Are you are you not ready to start over again? That's it. So again, you know, there's this... There, there's this ambiguity there that's not exactly you know coming off they know they enjoy their com they, they know they enjoy time spending time with you okay um also um the sense of we got the four of pentacles here holding on for sure success um you know there's this thought of again if they hold on long enough that you know things will begin to turn and you'll begin to see and feel the way about them as they do for you that may be a little bit of flawed logic there, somewhat. <clears throat> What's a little bit disturbing now? Is we got the double card here. Uh, and, you know, you know, usually that means some type of opioid addiction, some type of uh, alcoholism or something like that. Um, it, 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 and, it, and it very well could be. Okay, the potential block is very well could be that, you know, they have substance abuse issues and, and so forth, so on. Um, but I'm more or less feeling this is more of a toxic, obsessive type of situation. Um, <clears throat> where they may be reading a little bit more into this potential situation than is actually there. Uh, and, and so then there's that. So there's a potential obsessive quality to this situation here, okay? Where they're just kind of like addicted to being around you and to being with you. So there could actually be some type of substance abuse issues here. But there also could be the component of, you know, the overall addictiveness that they have towards you. An unhealthy, an unhealthy addiction towards you, okay? 
And finally, we have here the King of Wands. Looking again, these are blockages. So looking at the big picture again, um, that may be a little bit too far in the future. Then you're then you're ready to look at at the moment. You're kind of just living in the moment. They're looking at the big picture, and so you know you combine that with the potential obsessive um, component to all this. It could be kind of problematic. So with that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information does Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information does Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information does Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? Ooh. One flipped out, so we're definitely going to take that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so... First out the gate here, we got the North Star. Flip your inner light switch on. Be your North Star. In other words, uh, follow your intuition on this about this individual. Follow your own, follow your own intuition about this. Follow your own perspective, if you will, about this particular situation. Okay? Follow your intuition. Um, stop and take in the view. Take stock of the treasures you've earned. Yeah, just kind of slow down and, and take stock of the situation. Really look at the pros and cons. I mean, is this is this a person worth moving forward with in a productive relationship? Or is this someone that would make a better friend than they would companion? And maybe if that's the case, maybe you need to let this individual know sooner as opposed to later as to what exactly the nature and potential future nature of your relationship is going to be. Just saying. All right. And finally here, become the elixir. Let your let your glow do the heavy lifting. And above all, just continue being you. Just make sure that you make it clear to this individual if there is truly a possibility that you will be seeking to have a relationship with them. Because if that's not the case, then you need to let this person know sooner as opposed to later. Because, you know, that that, that glow that you have inside of you, it's kind of like moth to a flame. And it's, and it's attracting this individual like a moth to the flame. And, you know, um, you know, they're really beginning to have a very deep or feel as though they have a very deep connection towards you. Now... If you have it back to them, if the potential is there, that's great. But if it's not, you need to make that clear now as opposed to later because it could become problematic later. All right? So that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, this is a general love reading. If it, it may not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, get a link. Link will be below. If this... Uh, does not resonate with you and you want to know more about your particular situation again the link will be below um if you haven't already please like please share and absolutely subscribe all right i love you guys and i will absolutely see you next time enjoy the rest of your day